Good morning to you on this Wednesday. I'm going to be talking about the wisdom of the world is sometimes so confusing to us as Christians and people of faith. I find it intriguing that often we try to make our way in this world. And as we do, we're struggling with also the divinity of God and the holiness of God. And trying to serve him as a person of faith, it is hard sometimes to live in the world because the world is so mean. I'm going to share with you very quickly the story of David. When David was a young boy, about age 12 or 13, he went to bring some supplies to his older brothers who were fighting in the army with Saul. They were entrenched face to face with the army of the Philistines. And when David approached the, the situation, he found that uh, Goliath, uh, it says that he was six cubits and a span. In biblical Hebrew terms, it was he was a little over eight feet tall and was laughing at the Hebrew people, challenging anybody to come forward, laughing at their God, laughing at them. Well, David, a little boy, 13, was incensed. He looked at the king and said, how come nobody has challenged him? He says, no one has had the courage to go out to face him yet. David said, I will. Well, they laughed at David. David was insistent. He said, no. Basically, if God is with me, who can be against me? And so Saul tried to suit him up with his helmet, his armor, his big sword. Well, he was only 13 years old. He couldn't handle all that stuff. So he took it all off. And he started toward Goliath to face him with what everybody thought was sudden death. But instead, David reached into a sling, according to the Old Testament in Samuel, the 17th chapter. And as the Philistine moved closer to attack him, David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet him. David didn't wait for him to come to him. David aggressively went toward this eight-foot giant. Reaching into his bag, taking out a stone, he slung it and struck the Philistine in the forehead. And the stone, it says the scripture, sunk deep into his head and he died instantly. What I find interesting is that God does not use the weapons and the tools of this world to transform the world. He uses the common mundane things, such as a stone and a sling, a shepherd's sling that he used against bear and lions to defend his sheep. I want you all to know that our Heavenly Father defends us. He defends us with the gentleness and the meekness of a lamb, but with the ferociousness of a lion. Our Heavenly Father gives us the tools of spirit to actually control, defend, and overcome the world in faith, grace, forgiveness, understanding, and compassion. Will you pray with me? Father, may we put in our sling today the stones of hope, grace, forgiveness, understanding, and compassion. May we realize that we do not have to use the tools of this world to fight the world. But Father, help us to realize that it is the things you give to us in our heart, our spirit, our minds, that we can overcome the world. You've overcome the world a long time ago with death and grace and resurrection. Give us those tools today, for we ask this in your name. Amen. Now, I want you to go in this Wednesday. And I want you to realize that each one of us has a bag, but we'll pull out things that we've been given out of our past to confront and overcome things, decisions and problems of the world that we have to face now. People will disclose who they are by what they pull out of their life's bag. David pulled out a stone given to him by God, and the Philistines laughed at him. Goliath laughed at him, mocked him, but then God killed him. <laughs> Don't ever laugh at what God gives you or someone else. You should rejoice in that. Go in this Wednesday and pull out your bag of tricks that God gives to you and your your the tools that he gives to you to overcome the world. Go in peace. May the Lord go with you. Make this a great Wednesday for Jesus Christ. I'll see you tomorrow Thursday.